Hey guys, what's going on? BlueQuid97 here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. And today, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a chunk loader. Now, this thing, I mean, chunks are kind of weird how it works. Because it, like, loads in certain chunks and entities, like, for different blocks away. So this one's strictly just for, like, an entity loader. It's for like like smaller entity loading, so it's not for like a larger uh, scale one. We're only gonna do it like build one of these chunk loaders, and then if you wanted for it to expand the distance, you build more of these. But we'll get into that a little later. But now let me show you guys how to build this thing. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and build a Nether portal. So I'm gonna go ahead and build one here, and then uh, don't go through it yet because you're gonna want to get a few coordinates first. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write down these coordinates so let me get a notepad here and let's see they are uh 0 0.3 0, 0. they are 72 which doesn't matter but i'll just write it down anyways and then the z which is actually 166 also, we're facing north. Uh, not sure if that's important, really. Uh, I always do the directional portals when I do it. All right. So now that you have those coordinates done, um, go ahead and divide them all by eight. Now that you have your coordinates down, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the portal. And hopefully, it's not clo too close to my other portals. But okay. So now, basically, I'm gonna do slash tp uh, blue cool ninety seven to 0 0.0375 uh, keep this the same and then go 20.75 alright and it teleports me right right here and this was the very edge of it so we'll go like this and we need to face north that's west this is south this is east so one two three four also I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually, no, that portal can stay there. Then, one, two, three, four. And go ahead, we can build this thing up. And then relight that. So when we go through this one, we should, yep, come right back out through this one here. And if we go through this one, we come out this one. Alright, so now we're going to go back to the overworld. And we're going to build the next little bit for this. So, what you're going to want is you're going to want a dropper. Uh, an observer, a hopper, but then just get out um, a block. So what you want to do is you want to take a dropper and you want to place it on that stone block. So I'm just going to go ahead and break out the portal. So I'm going to get my flint back quick. And place in the dropper there just like that. And then what you're going to want to do is come behind it and create a upper clock. Just like that. And then what you want to do is you want to take another dropper and face it upwards into it. You only want to take a hopper and run it over into it. Then go ahead and take your block and place it like that. And then what you want to do is you want to come down three blocks, break out these two. And then what you want to do is you want to place in this block back, place in an observer like this, break out this one here, and then place another one there like that. And now you're going to want to... Uh, put some items in this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in three stacks and then go ahead and light this portal. Now go through it and you want to see where these items are coming out. So the items are coming out like right here. So what you want to do is place a, place a dropper here and place a hopper right here. And then what you want to do is you want to place the blocks already there. So that'll be fine. You want to place another dropper right here and then go ahead and relight this and then basically you just link up these things again with the observer so get an observer clock going here and then another one going I don't need this one just like that so items now should be getting shot back through this way and back to the other way also in case something like that is happening go ahead and place a block on top of the dropper go ahead and go through the portal and then place one on top like this just here on the other side just to make sure the blocks aren't flying too far and then that's really that's really about it. All the items you know are getting fired through the portal, 
going that way and back again, and the hopper's grabbing them all and putting them inside this dropper here. To test it out, to make sure it's working, you can go ahead and get out a furnace, get out some coal, and we're going to use some iron. So, what we're going to do, place down this furnace here, check in the coal, and check in the iron. Now we're going to go through this portal, and we're just going to sit here. Now we'll sit here just for a little bit, and we'll know this thing is working when we go back through the portal, and the items have been smelted up. Alright, so now after a little bit, I'm just going to go back through the portal and look inside this furnace. And as we can see, seven iron has gotten cooked up. So then we know for a fact this thing is working. Now, off the top of my head, I don't remember what the number for, how, what, like, the entity distance or whatever. I want to say it's, like, 8 or 16 or something like that. I'll pop up a number on screen right now saying what it is. And that's, like, the this chunk that will then render in, like, that many entity chunks. So, basically... If you wanted to use this for my Ender Pearl launcher thing that I showed, you would need like an insane giant grid of this thing, which is completely impractical. And so at that point, like, is it really worth it? But still, if you want to like cook up your furnace, like not your furnace, just cook up your items, you know, this is a nice thing to kind of have sitting right there. Well guys, that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. But guys, that means I have a great day. And don't forget to stay cool. See you guys. So guys, I know when I was explaining the chunk loading and how that worked, it was a little confusing. So if you want more information about that, I'll link a couple of sources down below, like I think Il Mango does a great job explaining it, and so you guys can go watch that video. I'll post both of those updated videos down in the description, so you guys can check that out if you want a better understanding of how that works.